Number 6. Aaron Guerrero and Sierra Halseth A teenage couple from Las Vegas, Nevada, was accused of murdering one of their fathers before running away together in April of 2021. The grave allegations emerged after Daniel Halseth's burned body was found in his home's garage by the property's landlord, who had gone to perform a welfare check on him. After carefully reviewing surveillance footage, investigators at the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department determined that the victim's daughter, Sierra Halseth, and her boyfriend, Aaron Guerrero, had driven the deceased man's blue Nissan Altima out of the neighborhood on April the 9th. A few days later, the police reportedly discovered a YouTube video in which Halseth and Guerrero were shown discussing the murder of the former's father. According to Guerrero's mother, the two teens had dated from June to December of 2020 and on multiple occasions during their relationship had discussed their plan to eventually run away together. Both of the teens' parents agreed that they should no longer have contact with one another, but Guerrero subsequently ran away from home. Investigators believed that the young couple had formulated the plot to kill Halseth's father in order to carry out their earlier plan to go on the run together. The police found several weapons believed to have been used in the commission of the murder, including a chainsaw, handsaw, scissors, and knives. The resulting police report also detailed the discovery of receipts that indicated the teens had purchased bleach, lighter fluid, gloves, and washcloths in the days leading up to Daniel's killing. Halseth and Guerrero were ultimately located in Salt Lake City, Utah, at which point they were taken into custody. They faced a number of criminal charges and ultimately pled guilty to nine counts that included murder, arson, and robbery. According to the latest updates on the case, the teens were scheduled to be sentenced in the summer of 2022. Today's featured fan shout-out is Instagram follower RoseStrick1227. To appear in our next video, send us your pic, rocking the latest merch from theywillkillyou.com and send it in to us on Instagram today. Number 5. Grace Dillman and Robert Best An Ohio teen and her 20-year-old boyfriend were arrested in June of 2012 for plotting to kill the former's parents at their Gahanna residence. Court documents indicated that the accused couple, identified as Grace Dillman and Robert Best, had devised a plan to slit the parents' throats while they slept. The plot was set into motion on the night of June the 13th when Dillman disabled the alarm system at her family's home and left a door unlocked for her boyfriend. Best entered the house and snuck into the master bedroom, but Dillman's father reportedly woke up before he was attacked. A physical struggle with Best subsequently ensued, resulting in the father being stabbed in the back. The police later revealed that the victim ultimately survived the altercation, but that Dillman and Best had been taken into custody on charges of attempted murder. Following an official investigation into the matter, it was determined that the parents had been targeted after they had expressed disapproval of Dillman's relationship with Best because of their age difference. In June of the following year, Best was sentenced to eight years in prison after being convicted of one count of attempted conspiracy to commit murder and one count of felonious assault. A couple of months later, Dillman, who was granted serious youthful offender status, was ordered to complete two years of probation in lieu of jail time. Number 4. Jocelyn Norton and Daniel Stroh On October the 23rd of 2017, Arizona man John Norton walked into his Tonopah residence with his 13-year-old daughter. Unbeknownst to the man who was reportedly carrying his infant child in his arms at the time, his eldest daughter's boyfriend was armed and lying in wait in the kitchen. Shortly thereafter, John was fatally shot by the intruder, identified as 21-year-old Daniel Stroh. According to court records, Stroh and 15-year-old Jocelyn Norton had conspired to eliminate the latter's father after he'd expressed his disapproval of her relationship with the older man. Following the shooting, Stroh and Norton took her two siblings and fled the scene in the victim's car. They had allegedly planned to drive to Norton's mother's place of work, but ultimately abandoned the idea and instead hid the firearm used to kill John in a remote area of the desert. The next day, Norton dialed 911 to report that Stroh had murdered her father, but indicated that he'd forced his way inside the home against her will. Stroh, on the other hand, 
contacted the authorities with an entirely different story. He claimed that Norton had given him an ultimatum, that if he didn't shoot her father, she would shoot him herself. Upon being questioned further, Norton admitted to providing false testimony during her initial 911 call and subsequently confessed to plotting the murder with Stroh. In August of 2019, the teen agreed to a plea deal with prosecutors on charges of second-degree murder, attempted child abuse, and tampering with physical evidence. She was consequently sentenced to 12 years in prison. After pleading guilty to the same list of charges, Stroh was sentenced to 16 years behind bars. Number 3. Nathaniel Fujita Massachusetts teen Lauren Astley broke up with her boyfriend Nathaniel Fujita shortly after their graduation from Wayland High School in the summer of 2011. A few weeks later, on the night of July the 3rd, Fujita lured his 18-year-old ex-girlfriend to his home, where he reportedly beat, strangled, and stabbed her to death in his garage. Wayland police subsequently arrested the young man on the charge of first-degree murder, as well as several other counts of assault and battery. When the case was brought to trial in 2013, Fujita's defense team argued that he'd been in a psychotic state at the time of Astley's brutal slave and that he should therefore not be held criminally responsible for his actions. Conversely, prosecutors contended that the teen, a high school football star, who was set to attend Trinity College in Hartford, Connecticut, had simply been enraged by Astley's decision to end their relationship and had lashed out at her in extreme violence. The jury assigned to Fujita's case ultimately found him guilty of first-degree murder with premeditation and extreme atrocity. He was consequently sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Number 2. Nahir Galatza in the early morning hours of December the 29th of 2017, Argentinian man Fernando Pastorizzo was gunned down on the streets of Gualeguaychú in the province of Entre Rios. The 21-year-old's lifeless body was found on the ground next to his motorcycle with a pair of gunshot wounds, one to his back and the other to his chest. Emergency responders rushed to the scene but Pastorizzo ultimately died before arriving at the hospital. Upon opening an investigation into the matter, local police immediately ruled out the possibility that Pastorizzo had been shot during a robbery. The victim's girlfriend, 19-year-old Nahir Galazza, posted a commemorative message to social media in which she wrote, in part, I love you forever, my angel. Later that same day, in an unexpected twist of events, Galazza allegedly went to the police station in Guliguechu to confess to Pastorizzo's killing. She was consequently arrested and charged with murder, but during the ensuing criminal trial, her account of the events that led to her boyfriend's death contradicted her original testimony. While investigators had determined that the young woman had shot the victim with her father's police service weapon, she later claimed that the firearm had been concealed under Pastorizzo's clothes while they were riding two up on his motorcycle. In her revised statement, Galazza indicated that they'd fallen off the bike, at which point the gun was unintentionally discharged into Pastorizzo's back. She then claimed to have picked up the weapon and heard it fire a second time. The Guela Gechu judges who presided over Galazza's case flatly rejected her altered testimony in which she'd also accused Pastorizzo of repeated gender violence during the course of their relationship. At the conclusion of her trial, Galazza was convicted of her boyfriend's murder and sentenced to life imprisonment. Number 1. Lauren Daniel Bunner after ending their romantic involvement with one another, Lauren Daniel Bunner and Joe Lee Callan went on a hike together through the heavily wooded Pinhotti Trail area of Mount Chia, Alabama in August 2015. Despite the issues that had reportedly been brewing between them over the course of the previous weeks, the pair agreed to go on this scenic excursion simply as friends. Throughout the day, Bunner proceeded to post multiple pictures of Callan during their hike to his Instagram account. The final photograph showed the young woman standing at the edge of a cliff, seemingly using her cell phone to take a picture of the mountain landscape in front of them. Then later that evening, Bunner called 911 just off the local interstate and asked to speak with the police. He then made the chilling confession that he'd murdered his ex-girlfriend on Chaia Mountain. Shortly thereafter, Callan's body was found at the bottom of a 40-foot cliff on the Pinhotti Trail. She'd reportedly been shot twice, once in the back of the head and once between the eyes. In his subsequent interviews with the police, Bunner made the shocking claim that he'd fatally shot Callan as part of a pact they'd made to take their own lives. He indicated that after murdering the young woman, he was unable to go through with shooting himself 
and instead opted to turn himself into the authorities. Investigators expressed considerable doubt as to the veracity of Bunner's testimony about the supposed death pact he'd made with Callan. He was charged with murder to which he later pleaded guilty. Bunner had initially been granted youthful offender status, stipulating that he could only be sentenced to a maximum of three years for the crime. However, that court decision was later overturned and he was ultimately tried as an adult, resulting in a sentence of 52 years in prison for Callan's murder. Thanks for watching. Would you rather have your child marry someone you disapprove of or allow a prison inmate to tattoo whatever they want on your body? Let us know in the comments section below.